Good morning, third and fourth graders. I am going to do this project for both those, those grades because I think it's fun, it's a collage, and it's a gigantic burger. And you can make it as many, um, as tall as you like, but, and the bigger the better. So it's gonna be big, we're gonna start with a bun. Now I have origami paper here from the art room. It's just colored paper. These are square, nice, colorful papers that I'm gonna use for my burger. Um, if you have construction paper at home, that would be great too. I selected some burger kind of colored paper. If you don't have colored paper, you can use Craypod to color it or magic marker or even watercolor to change the color of your paper. Okay, I am going to use, um, and they're organic shapes because um, they're not really geometric, although the bun is is a um, semicircle pretty much, but it's kind of organic too. It's not a perfect semicircle. So I'm gonna do the top of the bun, I mean the bottom of the bun, and I'm gonna do a top of a bun, a little bigger, and I'm going to cut them out. Now I'm not going to build the entire sandwich on this video. Um, I am going to start you out and you're going to multiply the elements. You're gonna have more than one burger patty. You're gonna make more than one um, piece of um, lettuce. You're going to duplicate it, multiply them. So you have several, so it can be a very tall burger. Okay, here is my, I'm gonna sh start you out with that. And if you don't like the color, you can change it later. It's not gonna be glued down. Black paper's nice for the background. So you need black paper, a black Sharpie. It's a light black paper. I'm writing my name on the front because I would love to see this on the Osborne Gallery, third or fourth grade in whatever class you're in. I think I like, yeah, that's good. Um, and we can detail it later. Um, I am going to now do the burger part, and they're just slabs. And like I said, I'm going to show you one, but you do several. So it's just an organic shape. In fact, all the filling to the burger um, are organic shapes. I'm saving this brown because I'm going to make multiple burger patties. There is my, you know, I'll build it here. There's a bottom, and now maybe I'll do... I'll do some lettuce, and you do multiple lettuces as well going up. I would repeat the pattern you make, the stack. It's a stack, okay, wiggly lettuce. Lettuce is very wiggly. So, like, so you do several lettuces, but I'm just showing you one, and you could either show your black outline or not. And cutting this out, like I said, you will duplicate this because you have a very tall burger to build, gigantic one. Let it overlap the burger a little bit. Let's go for, oh, I don't know. Let's go for the um, bacon. I'm gonna put bacon. I like this color for bacon, and it's similar to the um, lettuce. It's just wiggly, and maybe there's a lot, I think there's a white fatty line in the middle, but strip of bacon organic shape. You can do several of those and cut them out. I can't wait to see what you guys do. I cannot wait. Seriously. And you don't have to use bacon. You could do something else. But here is this. And you multiply this too. That's a good strip of bacon. Maybe tuck it. You just, you design it. I'm not gluing it down now. In part two, I will glue everything down. Okay, and now I'm going to go for, oh, you know what, I wanna move it up. I just thought I, I'm gonna put some oozing cheese on my burger. So get a nice yellow or color it. I like this yellow. And the oozing cheese is just like a little organic shape and it's oozing, like little waves at the bottom. Not perfect, imperfect, irregular informal, all these art words. Mrs. Lonegren in fifth grade um, and I were doing organic shape and geometric shape lesson and she talks about it as being formal, formal being um, geometric shapes and informal being organic shapes. Okay, here is 
the melted cheese and that. I'm laying it out. And now I just want to show you a few more things. A tomato and pickle. I thought this was a great pickle color. And like I said, color your own if you don't have the right color for yourself. Um, the pickles, you could do you could do pickles like this, you know, like, and you could draw on the collage paper a little bit if you want to do pickles like that. Or you could do a pickle like this, uh, like a roundish organic shape with a little dimension and some dots for the, for the seeds. Pickles are cucumbers, sour cucumbers, pickled cucumbers. Okay, so maybe you could do a variety of both. And you could have several of these, as many as you want. There's a pickle, and like I said, you repeat this. And here's a little dimensional pickle, and tuck it there. And now I wanna show you onion rings are really cool. Gray is nice, or a light color, um, and it's a spiral. So I'm just gonna do a spiral kind of shape, a guideline, that's very big. And chunk it out first. I always chunk my paper out first so I have it can get around and cut it. And now you're going to go around your lines. But you want it, you want the lines a little separated. So you go, spirals are a little tricky, but this is a curl, curled onion ring. Go all the way around. And you want to be able to see, maybe you trim a little bit so you could see the space between. You could do several of these. You might get really good at the onion rings. But you see I'm trimming my spiral so you can see the negative space in between. Okay, that's a pretty good onion ring. You could stretch it out or you could just like, you know, let it let it be organic on the burger. And you gotta build all the way up. You could even let the burger top go off the black paper. All right, do you get the idea? You can't answer me because this is a video. Let me do let me do a, um, one more tomato on this. Um, I didn't do a tomato yet. Same thing with the tomato. Make it give it a little dimension on the bottom and maybe around here. And then there's like the seeds to the tomato. That could be a tomato or like a more rounded one. You don't have to give it dimension seeds and these could these seeds could be collaged with black if you want and the bun could be the seeds on the bun could be collaged so you just keep building all right I'm gonna cut out one tomato and add it to my start I can't hold this up because it's all it's not secure yet but let them let them have let them play on the burger because you're going to build up high. 